Good morning, guys. Well, it's uh, Wednesday, the 23rd of, uh, of September, and uh, it's Wake Up Well. And uh, we are going to dig into uh, Psalm 40, particularly one verse. And that verse is, I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. And, and clearly the, the psalmist here is, is very passionate. Um, he is very much in, in love with the Father. Um, he sees the goodness of God and it's something that he wants to, to share with the world. You know, and the, in, in, in modern day times, you know, these are the, the musicians um, those amongst us that have a have a message, they're desperate to get out. Uh, oftentimes, that's a tragedy. It's a, of loss or perhaps a, a excitement of of love. But there's there's a message, something that's passionate that they're passionate about that they need to get out to the world. Um, and the word that springs to mind in that moment is this word evangelist. You know, we've all heard of, uh, or many of us will have heard of brand evangelists. You know, for for companies. That's what they are pursuing. They're looking for those individuals uh, that are super passionate and excited about the product or the service um, that they have uh, that they've developed or that they are selling. People that will go out and tell thousands about it and perhaps get those people to buy into it. And it's a word actually that that has its roots um, in Christianity. Uh, and it's uh, an evangelist is someone that. Uh, who who knows it is their calling, it's their heart, their passion, their desire to actually take the, the word of God and this message of the goodness and the faithfulness of God the Father and of Jesus and Holy Spirit to the world and to proclaim it. Um, you know, we, um, you know, let's be honest, some of us are called to be evangelists and that's fantastic. And there's nothing more than an evangelist loves than to get to passionately explain to people most of the time to people they've never met before, that there's a God that loves them. Um, and that is awesome. And honestly, we should all aspire to be passionate about our Lord in that kind of way. You know, even if we don't see ourselves as evangelists. But guys, I'm not an evangelist. That's not me. You know, I look for every opportunity to share the goodness of God with those around me. But I much prefer to teach through um, life circumstances, to come alongside someone and bring love and challenge in ways that are appropriate to me. And you know what? That's okay. I mean, it says in Ephesians 4 um, that uh, it was he that who gave to be a, some to be apostles, to be prophets, some to be evangelists, some to be pastors, and some to be teachers. So clearly, um, you know, we're all different, and that's a good thing. You know, we all have different kingdom skills to bring to the table. But guys, this isn't a skills conversation. It's a, it's a character conversation. It's it's about faithfulness. It's about our faithfulness to be willing to play our part um, in fulfilling the Great Commission that Jesus speaks about in Matthew 28. It says that Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you to. So again, it's we're back down to this, uh, this discipleship conversation. You know, so, so how do we go about being faithful in this when it comes to the subject of discipleship and evangelism? Um, it can, you know, I think I've spent about a couple of decades now in Christian ministry, and, and I've been around so many conferences where discipleship has been at the heart of it. And it, it can be, it can be quite a, um, you know, a, a complex conversation. I mean, there are many nuances. There are ways we can look at discipleship. But actually, I feel like at its root, it's quite simple. I think, firstly, we need to keep our hearts softened to, to hear the voice of our Father, to, to feel those Holy Spirit nudges. You know, to some of us, we, we kind of more hear it in our heads. With others, it's a real, it's a gut punch. You know, who, who are you asking us to speak to, Father? And, and what is it you're wanting to say to them? Is there a prophetic word? Or perhaps um, do we need to pray for healing? You know, Lord, what is it that you're saying? What, who are we meant to be talking to? When? You know, keep our hearts softened. Invest in our relationship with the Father so that we can hear those things. Where the Father is not having to shout at us from a rooftop to get our attention, but it's the still small voice. And secondly, 
you know, as a believer to ask yourself, are the words that are coming out of my mouth and my subsequent actions, do they speak of the goodness of God and do they point them towards Jesus? You know, those are the two things. Keep your heart softened so you can hear the voice of the Father and feel those Holy Spirit nudges. And secondly, do the words coming out of my mouth and my actions as a believer back up those words? Do they speak of the goodness of God? And ultimately, do they point someone towards Jesus? You know, for some of us, this will be amongst people we've never met before. Maybe we were stood behind them in the line at Tesco's or at the Chippy, perhaps conversationally with a new colleague at work. Maybe you bump into someone at your kids' swimming lessons uh, or as you walk around the neighborhood and they mention something and Holy Spirit grabs your attention and says, this is it, this is it right now, this is what I want you to say. You know, but sometimes with more permanent relationships, um, maybe with people you've known for years, you know, maybe actual neighbors that you've lived beside or co-workers that you've worked with, um, or even close family that just don't know the father yet. But the great news when it comes to evangelism and discipleship is that it's not your job to produce a result. It's your job to be faithful to the father's call to help fulfill the Great Commission. It's your job to plant, uh, to sow the seed, uh, to actually plant it in the life of someone, to, to actually be obedient, to um, communicate what is the Father said, and then to allow the Holy Spirit to actually tend to and water that seed in the life of the individual. And sometimes, just sometimes, we get the opportunity to be present with arms open wide um, to, uh, to welcome a new believer into the kingdom of God. I hope these words bless you today and I hope you feel released from any uh, sense of, uh, of becoming or being the great evangelist, that you have a role to play and the Lord actually wants to use you for who he has created you to be. You have an important part to play in the kingdom. Be blessed today.